Hey guys, how you all doing? It's Ben in a bit of a different setting today. I've come up to Reading to uh, see my good friend Jay Poststones from the band Tesseract and uh, he has launched with his business partner Gareth Planet Earth Drums, which is some seriously boutique handmade snare drums. Now, you know I'm a sucker for a sick snare drum. It's just one of my favorite parts of the kit. So I had to go up here and, uh, you know, hang out with the guys and just see what they're doing here and play these drums. So I'm gonna play through uh, all these drums on the kit. And I've also got some questions. I'm gonna sit down and ask the guys a few questions for you. Stuff I thought would be interesting about what it's like to set up a snare drum company, um, you know, why they've set up Planet Earth Drums and a bit about the drums that they're making. So let's bring in Jay and Gareth and have a chat about Planet Earth Drums. All right, so we've got Jay and Gareth set up here. The, uh, the fine gentleman behind Planet Earth Drums, and they're gonna ask me a few questions that I think you guys would find interesting. So, gentlemen, over to you. Hi, I'm Jay. And I'm Gareth. And we are Planet Earth Drums. I've always had an interest in understanding more about drums and more about snare drums. I think a lot of drummers, a lot of musicians kind of repeat what they hear, so if they're told a certain wood has a certain characteristic, whether it's warm or whatever, they kind of say that because they hear it. I've never known that as to, to be a fact, you know, I've never heard a drum and gone, oh, that is a certain wood that sounds that way for a reason. I want to know what that reason is. So the reason for this really is an experiment for me to be able to create the perfect drum for myself and for others. Uh, yeah, that's where I came in. Uh, obviously Jay being busy flying around the world playing drums. Um, I was fortunate enough to have the time and access to the machinery and workshops to try to figure out how to make them. I don't have a much of a musical background. I used to play in a band with Jay years ago. Uh, I was very good. Um, you were brilliant. Uh, and um, I'm not a drummer. So I approached this from a very, very different, very different angle. The first stage really was to test it out on some cheap wood, some pine, make sure that we could confidently make something the exact shape that we wanted. When we were confident we could do that, we started to experiment on reclaimed wood that we had. Uh, which was some of the teak that we have, over the drum on the end there and this one in here. Uh, which used to be a science workbench from yeah. school. It's about 60 years old. Now the sort of fun begins, we can start experimenting with different timbers, trying to see what we can do with the tone of the wood and really start to get some creativity going. So this is a 14 by 6.5 uh, oak stave drum. It was originally going to be solid oak all the way through, but we decided halfway through the build to put this line of ash through it, kind of just as an experiment. Um, all the drums so far have been experiments, and this seemed to have an, like an aesthetic aspect that we really liked. Yeah, with the, the characteristics of the of the oak, obviously it's got very very wide grain. We thought we'd keep that aesthetic with it. We wouldn't cover it in lac coatings and coatings of lacquer. We just oiled it. We kept the grain nice and open on it, and it. We think it looks absolutely fantastic. Put a nice little band of ash in in the middle. Grains running the other way. Just something to break it up. Next up we have a 14 by 5 inch uh, teak stave snare. The teak is 
reclaimed from a school science desk. It's about 60 years old, which means it's nice and dry, which means it's not going to warp from venue to venue, which is nice. We pulled the chewing gum off it as well, obviously. <laughs> uh, for this now, we thought we'd take a slight, little unique approach to jointing the staves together. Uh, sort of kill two birds with one stone. We use these, this unique little jointing method to increase the amount of glue and surface area to hold them together, and also looks a little bit different. Next up, we have a 14 by 6.5 teak stave snare with uh, ash edges. The teak is from our original batch of 60 year old school desk teak. Tonally, um, the drum is very full-bodied. If you want to achieve a really fat, low-tuned snare drum sound, this is probably the one for you. This drum was one of the first ones I got to have a little bit of an experiment with after working out the process of making them. Band of ash around the edges, grains running the other way. Uh, this was also, did make cutting the bearing edge a little bit easier, given the grain direction, but also was keen to see how it would affect the tone. This is our 14 by 5 inch teak ash harmony snare drum. We were used to working with both of the woods and we wanted to combine them both in a drum, um, again as an experiment to see how they complemented each other. Uh, the woods complement each other very well, uh, the drum's got a lot of attack. Being a shallower drum, um, it's, it's slightly more sensitive, but you can tune it up high and really get it to pop. This drum we thought we'd see what uh, sort of effect the bearing edge would have on the tone. Uh, we decided to significantly roll over the uh, edge of the drum, increasing the contact with the skin. Having a larger surface area on the bearing edge uh, has helped bring out the tonal characteristics of the timber. Well, there we go. Thanks for watching. Hope that was interesting. These are some seriously, seriously good snare drums. So if you're in the market for an upgrade to your groove and your tone, then check the link down below to uh, head to Planet Earth Drums. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video.